Princess Kate headed to Trafalgar Square on Tuesday, a stone's throw away from Buckingham Palace, to reopen the iconic National Portrait Gallery, after an extensive three-year refurbishment program. During her visit, the Princess of Wales, who is a patron of the historic landmark, met with children and their parents to mark the new Under Fives program the gallery will launch in September. In the video below, Kate shared a touching moment with a particularly smartly dressed little one. Kate has continually proven her dedication to early years education with her project Shaping Us, so it comes as no surprise she made such powerful connections with the little ones and their families. The special program was developed in partnership with the London Borough of Westminster Family Hubs and local state nurseries, which will welcome families from the local community to the gallery and encourage creative learning, play and exploration. The princess heard about the exciting program, before joining nursery children taking part in a multi-sensory workshop focused on the world of Beatrix Potter. The princess also met with Sir Paul McCartney who has an upcoming exhibition at the refurbished gallery, alongside his wife, Nancy Chevelle. The Beatles legend and the wife of Prince William reportedly bonded over their shared love of photography. She had a fit of the giggles as Maka, 81, who has his own photographic exhibition opening there next week, focusing on the Beatles in 1963-64, joked about whether his wife would have been born then. At 63, she would have been born in 1959 and reassured him she had been. Kate looked ravishing for her visit, opting to wear an ivory Aquatsura gown, aptly named the Bowtie Pump 105, in black, which she paired with a matching structured jacket in the same icy hue. Adding a chic dynamic to the glamorous look, the jacket was adorned with black lining around each hem and pocket. The slick top half also featured black buttons running down along the center. The princess completed her look with a pair of elegant black stilettos which were adorned with ribbon-like embellishments on the back. As for her hair, Kate wore her brunette tresses down in elegant curls, perfectly positioned behind her ears. Kate's flawless makeup look was comprised of lashes of fluttery mascara, rosy blusher and deep nude lipstick. As for accessories, Kate opted for a glitzy quadruple dropped pearl design, elegantly pulling her monochrome ensemble together. The Royal has had a penchant for monochrome in recent days opting for a chic polka dot ensemble at the weekend, see the details here. Kate was greeted by Jamie Fobert, project architect, and award-winning artist Tracy Emin, who was commissioned to create artwork for the gallery's new doors, incorporating 45 carved brass panels and representing every woman, throughout time. The princess had the opportunity to look at a number of new acquisitions the gallery has acquired, including Joshua Reynolds' portrait of my, oh my. She will also get an opportunity to view a brand new exhibition, Yvonne, Life and Color, which explores the life and career of Yvonne, 
the pioneering London photographer who spearheaded the use of colour photography in the 1930s. The princess took her time to admire Tracy's incredible work, as you can see in the image below. The incredible overhaul of the tourist hotspot has seen more than 50 new acquisitions and the restoration of the Grade 1 listed building. The gallery will reopen to members of the public on Thursday the 22nd of June. Kate last visited the gallery before its closure in 2020. During her visit, she viewed an incredible portrait of Captain Tom Moore. During lockdown, Kate also launched the Hold Still Community Photography Project. Hold Still aims to capture the spirit, the mood, the hopes, the fears and the feelings of the nation during the coronavirus pandemic. The project focuses on three core themes, helpers and heroes, your new normal and acts of kindness. Before the pandemic struck in 2020, Kate also visited the gallery's hospital program at Evelina Children's Hospital.